Welcome to What in the World, where we cover stories from the unusual to the riveting. I'm Ricardo Aguilar. And I'm Catherine Smith. Let's get started with our first three stories for today. Finally, after all this time, the mystery of the Garfield phones has been revealed. These handsets have been showing up on French beaches since the 80s, with locals constantly cleaning up. Recently, it has come to light that the phones came from a metal shipping container in a deep cave, which is usually inaccessible by the tide. However, the container was found empty. The phones themselves have been made into a symbol of plastic pollution over in France. A man in Florida tried to get out of work by calling 911 and claimed that he was robbed. The man did not want to show up for his 11 a.m. hardy shift, so he told officers that two armed suspects stole his money, threw his phone to the ground, and drove away from the scene. It did not take long for authorities to figure out that the crime never occurred, and the man was charged with misuse of 911 and knowingly giving false information to law enforcement. In South Carolina, a man decided to spray Axe body spray into his mouth to hide the alcohol on his breath. Authorities pulled him over on the interstate after the man passed them at a very high speed. The man was still visibly spraying the product into his mouth when the deputy arrived. Ten out of the twelve bottles of beer were found empty with an open bottle in between the driver's leg. It did not take long for him to be arrested for driving under the influence. So um, I guess like the only way to like figure out that spraying Axe body spray into your own mouth would be a good idea was to just be drunk because like that's the only time I guess that would be the only idea that you could have when you're drunk. I don't understand why you would want to put something like that in your mouth. I think that he had this idea and concept that it smelled good, so therefore that if it smells good, my breath will smell good yeah. as well. To me, that just seems like a huge, huge mistake. <laughs> no, like because of those kind of sprays, like those like air fresheners or those like the deodorant sprays or anything like that. Like, yeah, they smell good, but like when you like accidentally like, kind of taste, accidentally like, get a bit of it in your mouth, it kind of like tastes terrible there. So like I was imagining like him constantly spraying that into his mouth, like, hey, you know what, like he goes just accepting like whatever like bad taste it has just to get the smell off when clearly that's not going to help him anyway. I'm just wondering if it tastes as bad as it smells because mm -hmm. that can't be interesting at all to be able to confront as a police officer, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it, for sure. Especially, yeah. So anyways, well, we'll be we're taking a quick break. Uh, stay tuned. At the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, we're passionate about learning. Our talented faculty members blend teaching with research, creating hands-on learning experiences for students. Warhawk Pride thrives at UW-Whitewater, where student-athletes excel on the field and in the classroom, where diversity is celebrated. A tradition of excellence. Find your passion here. The James R. Connor University Center on UW-Whitewater's campus is a gathering place for students of various cultures, backgrounds, and lifestyles. The UC is a great source for information, campus tickets, meetings, entertainment, food, gallery exhibits, workshops, and all of your hot card needs. Whether you're looking for a place to study between classes or just a place to hang out with friends, the UC is the place for you. For more information on the UC, please visit uc.uww.edu or go to facebook.com slash uc.uww. Turn us on. Flip them off. 91.7. WSUW. Ninety one point seven is a student run radio station serving the Whitewater area with a variety of original programs, live sports broadcasting, community events, and more. So turn us on. Ninety one point seven FM or stream us live at nine one seven theedge.com.
Severn Beach, England, has been cleaning up a man's garden shed every night for the past month. Plastic clips, nuts, and bolts were found in a tiny tub used to feed birds. The man finally decided to solve this mousy mystery and installed a camera discovering the mouse cleaning up the place. The mouse continues to pick and tidy up the shed to this day. An artist in Los Angeles is planning to build a cheese wall at the U.S.-Mexico border. The man stated that his inspiration came from the political environment we are living in today. The spoiled cheese wall was planned to be six feet tall and three feet wide, but has been funded to be made 25 feet long. The artist hopes that people will look at the wall in a different way, that all people are the same regardless of what side of the border they are on. A school in San Diego, California recently broke the sandwich making world record. A total of 868 sandwiches were made in three minutes by students, parents, and staff, nearly doubling that of the previous record of 490. The sandwiches have been donated to the San Diego's Alpha Project to give to the city's homeless. The attempt is still undergoing certification. An elderly woman in Bristol, UK was arrested by police, handcuffs and all, which finally took one item off her bucket list. The 104-year-old woman wanted to be arrested as her wish for a charity event, as she never found herself on the wrong side of the law. The officers were gentle with her throughout the proceeding as they led her into their vehicle. The lady was finally glad to experience what it's like to be in trouble with the law. So that's like very interesting stories there, especially like kind of like the 104-year-old woman who like, you know what, I kind of want to feel like what it's like to be arrested, you know? I would most definitely not want to realize what that feels like because it can't be good. But I would say, hey, if you're 104 years old and you want to knock one thing off your bucket list and that just happens to be arrested, you might as well just do it at that age for yeah. good graces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because like just all that time, like just going with the law, it's like, Maybe, yeah, like, I would assume like the curiosity to like, what if I kind of like, you know, counting the count with the police? How would that be? I don't know. That is one thing that I do not have curiosity with, and I hope and pray that I will not have curiosity with in the future. But one thing that really intrigues me is this cheese wall. Mm -hmm. That's something that I feel like would be in the state of Wisconsin that we'd have because we're exactly. big cheese heads, not in Los Angeles. Yeah, that kind of like, it surprised me, like a cheese wall, like they're just not any other kind of food, you know, like any or moldable items, like, you know, let's just use cheese. You know, cheese is fun. It'll probably expire, give smell a bit over down there, but hey, it'll be very interesting to uh, see there, like if, you, if, we, if I ever like, decide to go down there, you know? Absolutely. We'll be right back with some more strange stories. Stay tuned. <laughs> Are you bored on campus? Then come down to Warhawk Alley in the University Center. We have everything you need to take a break from your studies and have a great time. So come blow off some steam with our air hockey, darts, foosball, video games, eight top-of-the-line Brunswick pool tables, and our ten-lane bowling alley. We have nightly specials, blacklight bowling, tournaments, and tons of chances to win prizes. For more information or to set up a reservation, call Warhawk Alley at 262-472-5681. Here at UW-Whitewater Intramural Sports, we have a motto, a sport for everyone and everyone in a sport. That's it anyways. Oh, 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 they're going to count it. Had a blast. Always have fun at Intramurals. <laughs> Every day we strive to go above and beyond that goal by providing healthy exercise, promoting leisure education, and giving students that competitive atmosphere they are looking for. Yes! 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 It's exciting. It brings me back to those uh, high school days with Friday Night Lights. With our 25 different intramural sports offered, we guarantee that we have a sport for you. Go to our website and find your sport today. The James R. Connor University Center on UW Whitewater's campus is a gathering place for students of various cultures, backgrounds, and lifestyles. The UC is a great source for information, campus tickets, meetings, entertainment, food, gallery exhibits, workshops, and all of your hot card needs. Whether you're looking for a place to study between classes or just a place to hang out with friends, the UC is the place for you. For more information on the UC, please visit uc.uww.edu or go to facebook.com slash uc.uww.
ancient royal charter document dating 800 years has been found by accident in Durham, England. The charter contains a transfer of ownership of two hamlets and carries the seal of King John. This document was found after a historian spotted it by chance while going through the Usha College Library archives. The document will assist in helping to understand the people back during the 1200s and how business was conducted with the new king. Less than a dozen original charters from King John's first year were found before this discovery. A rare first edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was sold for around $90,000. The book is among one of 500 initial printings and contains a few mistakes such as a misspelling of the title on the back cover. It even includes an autograph from Rowling herself. The record sold price for one of these books was around $400,000. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on What in the World.